The 2020 release of After Effects allows us to add tapers to the end of our strokes. So we're going to look at creating tapered strokes combined with glows and repeater to do something like this. Now let's begin by creating our path in Adobe Illustrator. So here I've created a path in Illustrator, just using a brush and just drawing with my brush. Now I'm going to select this path, take it into After Effects, create a new shape layer, twirl open the shape layer, add a path, open the path and click on the word path. Make sure your time indicator is at the beginning of the composition and press V to paste into the shape layer. Okay, now let's uh, add a stroke. I'll make it kind of a magenta. Something like that. Now to animate the stroke, we're going to add a trim path. Under trim paths, with my marker at the beginning of the composition. I'm going to put a keyframe for start and end, both of them at zero. Then I'm going to move down to two seconds and I'll set this to 50, 50. And at the end, 50, 50 for both of them, but then offset the start by approximately 10 frames. So go back 10 frames and then offset the start and then you'll get something like this. All right, then down under stroke, let's do the taper. The start length, I'll set at 85, and the end length, I'll set at 53. Then you may want to experiment with these to find the perfect result. Now we've got a nice tapered stroke here. I think I'll beef up the stroke a little bit by increasing the width, maybe a double it, say to 24. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now let's add a glow to it. Go up under Effects, Stylize, Glow. I'm gonna create my glow colors. I'm gonna make the glow slightly darker than the stroke itself. This one a little bit darker. I'm going to put composite original on top. For glow colors, I'm going to choose my A and B colors that I just selected. All right, I'll make this threshold zero, the glow radius, I think I'll go with about 45, and glow intensity, about 4.9. Okay, now let's add the repeater. So click on contents, add repeater. By default, that's going to create three. So this looks pretty cool. Now what we could do is scale it. So like if I scale it, say 90%, then each progressive repeat will be 90% of the previous one. So it just gives us a little bit more depth. And there you have it. Animated strokes with a taper and a glow.